Hello again and welcome back to this vlogging channel, this thing that I do with my family. Unfortunately, the family is not around at the moment. I work from home, as I've mentioned many a time before, and as such, everybody else is gone. However, I thought today that I would take out this camera that I just purchased and try to make a full day video. So I'm going to talk a little bit about what I'm doing here at home and things that have been going on. When my family gets home, we're actually, I think, going to go to some sort of an event tonight, so I may bring you guys along. The video about this camera actually just went up this morning. This is the Sony RX0. And basically what I've heard about it, it's got sort of the guts of the Sony RX100 and the audio of the RX100 with a much worse lens because it's a, a little action camera, but it's waterproof, shockproof, crushproof, everything proof. So it's effectively an all-metal GoPro clone. While it doesn't do 4K video, it does really nice audio, and it has a mic jack built into it, which makes it so much more useful. I'm not currently using a microphone with it, I'm just using it in my hand here. There you go, you can see what you, you look like. And there are definitely some really good and really bad things about this camera. Something this size, it would be nice if it had some sort of at least electronic stabilization built into it. And obviously it'd be nice if it had a better battery life. But I did go ahead and order two replacement batteries for it. The one that came with it is a 700 milliamp hour. The two that I've got coming I think are 1200 milliamp hours. Just generic, they're not Sony batteries. So that should hopefully give me a little bit better battery life. And they're cheap. It was like... $20, I think, to get two batteries and a charger for them. I'm good with that. Speaking of money, I did something that I've been meaning to do for years last night. I finally took the step I started investing in digital currency. And I know there's going to be some of you out there that are like, why would you do that right now? This is a dumb thing to do. And some others that are like, why didn't you do that a long time ago? I wish that I had. I saw that Bitcoin had been going up and up and up, and even a month ago, it had, I think, just broken 10,000, or it was getting close, it was like seven or 8,000. I wish that I had jumped in then, and just yesterday, it hit 17 or 18,000, and finally, when it went right back under 17,000, I bought the tiniest little amount. I have a little stash of cash, stuff that I get from like birthdays and Christmas and whatever. I don't generally spend it on anything, so I just kind of sock it away, and I figured, why am I wasting it? Why am I letting it sit there not used? So I stuck it into Bitcoin. And right after doing that, it dropped. So I've still got it. I've got like 0 0.01 Bitcoin right now. I invested a couple of hundred dollars in it, and the worst case scenario, I lose that money. Oh well. But I'm just gonna let it sit there. If I come into additional money with Christmas and birthday and whatnot coming up, I might invest more if it drops way, way down. Over on Twitter, I posted this last night, I was looking through my old messages, my old Google Hangouts messages, and there was one I found from 2013, December 2013, almost exactly four years ago, that I sent to my friend Nick, talking about how Bitcoin had just dropped to $440 and then spiked back up to $750. And I said, I need to learn more about this and invest in it. And then I didn't do it. And now I'm thoroughly slapping myself. It's just... Ah. But one way or the other, I have dove in. I do have an account, a wallet, and everything set up, I think. Kind of complicated to get into this. That's why I haven't gotten into it so far. So that's in the works. It's something to be messing around with on the side. I think my dad might end up jumping in on it as well, which is great. I was on the phone with him talking about stuff while I was trying to set it up last night, so I think he's interested. In other news, and completely jumping and changing topics here, you might be able to see my office around me, and if you've seen my office in the past, it's a little bit more sparse. It's a little bit more barren than it was before. Things have been moved around. Some of the shelves over here are empty. Some of these shelves are a lot emptier. My desk is a lot cleaner. Things have been moved around. Down here is my shelf of things that I need to take a look at. And there's a reason behind that. The reason is our house, as of yesterday morning, is for sale. Christine and I have been talking about this for months and months. I think she said it's been like eight months now that we've been thinking about it, looking around. Our house is bursting at the seams. It's a wonderful house. It's a beautiful house. Lovely size. It's got a great yard in a great neighborhood. But we're just sort of outgrowing growing it. As the kids get older, more and more things coming into the house. As my business does better, more and more things coming through the house. I need a little bit more space for myself because I work from home and I do my YouTube videos from home. I need a place that's a little larger and a little bit more accommodating. And the kids are going to need more space to play for when their friends come over and everything. So we're looking into a house that's quite a bit larger than our current one in a different neighborhood. Don't really want to go into specifics on any of that. I've not really ever said where I live and I don't want to go into that. But suffice to say, our house is now on the market. Hopefully someone will come and see it. Hopefully someone will buy it in the very near future. That'd be a really nice Christmas present to the family to be able to say, 
we've sold our house, we're buying this other house, let's move. And the thing that really surprises me about it is Duncan, who I thought would be completely against it, is actually kind of okay with this. We talked to him about having a larger room and having more places to play and being able to go through different parts of the house, and he was okay with it. I mean, his friends that he has here in our neighborhood aren't going to be immediately accessible, but we can always have them come over or he can come over here. I think this can work out really well. So all in all, things going pretty well so far. I've been rambling for quite a little while, basically just to sort of test this camera and see how it does with this type of video. And it's not a super heavy camera, which means I can hold it up and just talk and talk and talk and never get tired, which is awesome. And I looked over on b and site where I bought this right before I posted the video, and it was still under $500 for the grade 10, which is supposed to be better quality than what I've already got here. That's ridiculous. A, a brand new $700 camera you can get used for $500. I am very much okay with that. Anyway, I have some work I need to get done. I have some videos that I need to make. I'm standing in darkness. Lots of stuff to do before the family comes home in a few hours, so I probably ought to get back to it. And it's late. It's been a long time since I turned the camera on because we've come to a Christmas parade. Look Again, still using the, the Sony camera. Look at that old timey fire truck. How cool. Probably not going to come through on the camera. Oh, I can see it. Yeah. We got everybody bundled up here. Old timey fire engine. An old police car. Looks like you would have seen the Blues Brothers. Cool. And Ellis is tired and cold. Here comes a Merry Christmas from the Kentucky State Police. Oh, look at the old fashioned car. Look at that state car. There's a bear in the front of it. Aww. This is a really good low light, mixed light test of the, the RX-0. There's a state trooper Humvee. It's a group from Canoe, Kentucky with a fire on their float. They have a little fire pit. I'm not sure that's safe. <laughs> they got Charlie Brown stuff all over the side. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from Bluegrass Ghost Chaser. Bluegrass Ghost Chaser, they're so spooky. I will keep coming back to it. This little camera is uber convenient because it is so small. Not in the way or anything. This must be the end. They're here to plow all the people out of the street. To plow everybody over. There's an ultra decorated truck. There the band coming. This is from the Women's Suffrage Centennial Celebration. They've got a lawnmower all decorated and a little house bill. And it wouldn't be a parade in Kentucky without a tractor. They've got a Grinch on there. It's decorated like Whoville. And there's fire coming. Look at all the fire! They're out for some attention. Look, watch it. What do you think of it? Ellis is enjoying it. Look. I don't know what's going on. They're giving candy? Ellis, look! Woo! <laughs> There's a Bojangles car. Bojangles is delicious. Yummy. Are you throwing chicken? You got chicken. Thank you. You want some chicken? Woo! They got a chicken. You see the chicken, Ellis? Look at the chicken! See the chicken. Hi, chicken. Hi, chicken. Hi, chicken. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this truck. Very cool. It's got a big snowman on it. It's an electric truck. Here comes the Santa sleigh. That's a pretty Christmas spirit meter. Oh, I don't like camera. There's the motorcycles. SpongeBob! There's SpongeBob! SpongeBob! <laughs> what do you think? You like the SpongeBob? Hi, SpongeBob! SpongeBob SquarePants! What do you think of that? Yeah, SpongeBob! Come back, SpongeBob! That's right here in the car! Bob Bob! Yeah, it was Bob Bob! More Beauty Queens! Yep, Christina was just saying these are the Beauty Queens. A bunch of them in cars so far. The car right behind him is so bright, it's really hard to see this one. Look at the rims, though. Very neat. 
There come the horses. So much. Daddy. Lots of little horses. We're going to let him pet the horses. And that's going to wrap up our time at the little parade. <sighs> I'm exhausted. Holding this one, Christina and I were switching back and forth holding Ellis and he's heavy. We forgot the stroller. Let's go home. Yeah, we stopped at one of the local bourbon distilleries. That's what we have in Kentucky. Mm -hmm. All kinds of Christmas lights out. They do this all the time. There's Santa Claus over there. Oh, look at the train. Look at the train. There's the train and presents and stuff. We got toy soldiers. Santa says, go straight. There's Santa and an elf. There's camels. The pretty nativity. Oh, look at the reindeer up there, Duncan. Aren't they cute? And we've made it home, back into the warm comfort where we live for now. Everybody's warming up with some popcorn. Alice came and demanded food. And there we go. Yeah. Is that all yours, Alice? And I think that's probably where I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up. There's very little else that's going to be going on here tonight, except Christina's parents are going to be coming in in another hour or so, and I'll probably have this edited by then. Also, I'm going to take some time and get to know this guy. There's a, probably a quick video coming out about this over on the Tech Channel, if you'd like to see that. This is the Pokeball Nintendo 2DS XL. I'm going to go play some Pokemon Ultra Moon, because I beat Pokemon Sun, and now it's time to do Ultra Moon. But anyway, thank you guys as always for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed something in today's video. We'll see you next time. Let me know what you think of the RX Zero footage.